My name is Jace Einfeld, and I'm an English major with a plan to become a university professor in English. And with this experience in the podcast, undergraduate podcast lab, I've learned how to effectively collaborate and launch content and reiterate content. In this class, Sam Jacob and I have created the podcast The Lit Editors. And in this podcast, we connect uh, classic literature to popular television shows in an attempt to show how relevant these classic uh, pieces of classic literature still are in our more modern age. Through this process, we've worked with a lot of different creatives um, in both the audio and visual spheres. And in so doing, it has allowed us to be able to work a lot better in groups, and work a lot better with other, um, with other people in creating this podcast. For me, I'm more of a lone wolf type. I really do not enjoy working with other people in groups because I'd, I'd rather fail by myself than fail with a group. And so this, this class has really helped me to see the value of group work in academia. Um, for me, I have learned that this is a very marketable skill in working with other people. And uh, even, even though it is, a, it, it is difficult to work with other people, I think that it has really helped me to, to see the value of other people's opinions. And in the words of Vanilla Ice, I've learned how to stop, collaborate, and listen. And, and use these kinds of skills to produce the best quality um, audio content and visual content to be able to convey the ideas that I want to convey in, a, in an effective way. A lot of the process of this podcast has been a lot of uh, trial and error, like a really bad run on a, a Super Mario Brothers game. But through this process, we've learned a lot about feedback. And for me, I've learned a lot about uh, uh, launching content and get, getting uh, feedback from other students and, 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 and uh, to be able to I uh, produce the best kind of material that I can. And the first part of this process that we did was through our logo. Uh, we used an image that I created when I was 13 years old and through Adobe Illustrator and through Photoshop, we were able to, uh, we were able to get this image uh, through Slack and to our other classmates. And we were able to come up with the, the final image that we have now that is a lot crisper, a lot cleaner, and without the, co without the comments and feedback that we got from other students and from other people who were following our podcast, we wouldn't have had the, the success that we had. And in the realm of audio, files, we had a lot of trouble with, um, with having quality content from the get-go. We had a lot of uh, issues with microphones and we had a lot of problems with corrupted audio files and audio files not transferring from, from the desktop in the recording studio to hard drives or through email. And this was a very frustrating process for both Sam and I but we uh, were able to work, work together and figure this out. Um, we actually had to record our first episode three times because of this. And as frustrating and as tiring as it was, it really, it was a good learning experience for both of us because we were able to see um, the, the things that we needed to do to improve our audio content. We were able to switch from one type of microphone to another. We were able to move, from, move in different spaces in the studio to be able to get the best sound. And we were also able to work with another member of our class, Mason Graham, in the third installment of our first episode. And we were able to see the importance of working um, collectively rather than individually in, in producing and editing the content. The issue that we had was when we were working through Audacity. Um, the, the audio files were being recorded as duo tracks and one file and one audio file would, would be louder and harder to hear than, than another. So what we decided to do was split the duo tracks into mono tracks. And through doing so, we were able to amplify both of the mono tracks in a way to, so that, so that both voices from both mics could be heard at the same pitch. And through splitting these, we were able to um, work really well with the, the content that we had, even if it was, kind of a train wreck at the, at the beginning. We were able to salvage projects that we thought that we would have to re-record. And through this process, I've learned the importance of working really closely in groups and relying on others. And I will be able to use these skills in collaborating, launching and reiterating in the academic sphere through producing content. Uh, even if it's not audio content, I'll be able to produce textual content in a very similar fashion.